The B-1, a strategic bomber variant that entered service in 1986 as the successor to the B-52 Stratofortress, the B-1, was designed to improve radar-detected air performance over long distances, developed in two versions by Rockwell International, the B-1A, first developed in 1974. The B-1B modified the basic fuselage with stealth features, such as mixed contours and radar intercepting materials, which reduced the aircraft's speed, but reduced its radar reflection to 100th, that of the B-52, the first B-1B flew in 1984, and by 1988, four Darling with a total of 100 bombers, were operating at bases in the continental United States. The B-1B was 147 feet, 44.8 meters, long, and when refitted, about 137 feet, 42 meters, wide, the four General Electric turbofan engines on board could receive up to the speed of sound at operating altitude dot from 40,000 feet, 12,000 meters, but the top speed is usually sub- It is capable of carrying heavier than air loads or 24 SRAMs. It can also carry loads of up to 24 nuclear bombs or 84 conventional bombs, weighing 500 pounds, 227 kilograms, with an average payload of 37,000 pounds, 16,800 kilograms. The B-1B can fly 4,600 miles, 7,400 kilometers, without use. Actually in 1957 the USAF had chosen the B-70 Valkyrie to replace the B-52 Stratofortress. The B-70 Valkyrie was deployed by six jet engines so that the aircraft was able to reach Mach 3 at an altitude of 21,000 meters. This capability made the B-70 Valkyrie able to avoid interceptors. The U-2 also had the same specifications as the B-70 on this basis. The USAF switched to the B-1 Lancer project, with the consideration that at that time surface-to-air missiles, SAM surface-to-air missiles, were ineffective. Fighting airplanes, the development of this carrier aircraft was completed several times. In 1970, four prototypes of the B-1A were developed, but the project was discontinued. Ten years later, in the early 1980s, as return bomber aircraft with specifications such as the B-1, an aircraft pending return with the B-1B version, this time equipped with stealth technology that makes it has a dramatic penetration capability. Since 1986 the B-1B Lancer fleet has been operated by the USAF Strategic Command as nuclear bombers. Although developed as a nuclear bomb-carrying aircraft, since the 1990s, the B-1B Lancer has also been developed to carry conventional bombs, for example, in the 1998 Operation Desert Fox, conducted by the US and NATO, the use of conventional bombs with the B-1B Lancer has also been carried out by the US and NATO militaries in Afghanistan. Kosovo and Iraq, until now the US military highly recommends three series of strategic bombers, namely the B-1B Lancer, B-52 Stratofortress and B-2 Spirit.
Perhaps some people think that the letter B in the name of the aircraft stands for bomber. In fact, the aircraft is named Bone or Bone written with the spelling B1 since the beginning of operation until 1988. A total of 104 B-1 Lancer aircraft have been created, some of which suffered accidents and damage, some have also been stored in the Museum of Some. The USAF currently operates at least 65 to 66 B-1 B-Lancer strategic bombers.